Walter Russell wasn't your typical scientist. He was a painter, a sculptor, even an architect. He designed buildings, crafted busts of presidents. But Russell was also a man obsessed. He believed he'd glimpsed a deeper truth about the universe, a hidden order within the elements. Driven by this epiphany, Russell developed his own unique periodic table of elements. Russell's table was a radical departure, a spiral that challenged the very foundation of chemistry as it was understood. He claimed his table revealed the true harmonic structure of the universe, a cosmic dance of creation and destruction. These were bold claims, claims that put him at odds with the scientific establishment. His lack of formal scientific training and his unorthodox methods made him an outsider. His ideas dismissed as the ramblings of an eccentric artist. His work, though controversial, continues to intrigue and inspire, a testament to the power of unconventional thinking. Imagine the periodic table not as a rigid chart, but as a flowing spiral. That's the heart of Russell's vision. He saw the elements not as isolated entities, but as expressions of a single continuous process. A cosmic melody played out across the octaves of matter. Unlike the traditional table, which groups elements by atomic number and recurring properties, Russell's spiral arranged them by what he called their tonal relationships. He believed each element possessed a unique tone, a vibrational frequency that determined its properties and its place in the cosmic orchestra. Elements with similar tones, even if far apart in atomic number, would find themselves grouped together in his spiral. This tonal arrangement, Russell argued, revealed hidden connections between elements, connections missed by the traditional table. He believed his spiral could predict the existence of new elements, even isotopes, long before they were discovered. Just as musical notes combine to create harmonies and melodies, so too did elements interact to create the symphony of the universe. This unique perspective, though unconventional, offered a tantalizing glimpse into the potential of a universe governed by harmony and resonance. To grasp the essence of Russell's periodic table, we need to delve into his unique interpretation of atomic structure. He disagreed with the prevailing model of his time, which depicted electrons orbiting the nucleus like planets around a sun. Instead, Russell envisioned atoms as miniature swirling vortexes of energy, with the nucleus at the center of this energetic dance. He believed that electrons weren't tiny particles, but rather standing waves patterns of energy that vibrated at specific frequencies. These frequencies, he argued, determined the element's properties, its tone in the cosmic orchestra. As an element gained or lost energy, its electrons would jump between these vibrational states, much like a musical note-changing octaves. He observed that elements with similar chemical properties appeared at regular intervals along his spiral, intervals he called octaves. Just as a musical octave repeats the same notes but at a higher frequency, so too did elements in the same octave share similar properties but at different energy levels. When these elements were later discovered, some of his predictions proved to be remarkably accurate, lending credence to his unconventional model. Russell's periodic table wasn't just about chemistry, it was a window into his grand unifying theory of the universe. He believed that the same principles governing the elements also applied to everything else, from the smallest atom to the largest galaxy. He saw the universe as a continuous spectrum of energy, with matter merely a temporary manifestation of this underlying energy field. This concept challenged the traditional separation between matter and energy, suggesting that they were simply two sides of the same coin. Russell believed that matter could be created and destroyed, that elements could transmute into one another, ideas that seemed outlandish at the time, but have found some resonance in modern physics. He envisioned a universe where everything was interconnected, where the past, present and future coexisted in a timeless now. His periodic table, 
with its spiral structure and emphasis on harmony, was his attempt to express this underlying order. Section 5. A Universe of Octaves, Understanding Russell's Wave-Based Cosmology. To truly grasp Russell's periodic table, we need to journey deeper into his wave-based cosmology. Imagine the universe not as a vast emptiness sprinkled with matter, but as an ocean of energy, a cosmic sea of vibrating waves. This, according to Russell, was the fundamental reality, the canvas upon which the drama of existence unfolded. Within this sea of energy, Russell saw a rhythmic pulse, a continuous cycle of expansion and contraction. He called this the universal heartbeat, the fundamental rhythm governing all creation. From this heartbeat arose a spectrum of vibrations, a symphony of waves, each with its own unique frequency and amplitude. These waves, according to Russell, were the building blocks of everything, the raw material from which matter emerged. He envisioned atoms as tiny swirling vortexes of these waves, miniature whirlpools in the cosmic sea. The faster the vortex spun, the denser the matter it formed, giving rise to the different elements. Section 6. The Zero Point. Exploring the heart of Russell's system. At the heart of Russell's spiral periodic table lies a curious void, a point of perfect balance and stillness. He called this the Zero Point, a realm of pure potential, the womb from which all creation sprang. It was the silent pause between the in-breath and out-breath of the universe, the fulcrum upon which the cosmic dance of creation and destruction pivoted. This zero point wasn't empty space, Russell argued, but rather the source of all energy and matter. It was the invisible fulcrum upon which the seesaw of existence teetered, the point where opposites met and merged, where positive and negative charges balanced in perfect harmony. The creation of matter, he believed, was like throwing a stone into this pond, creating ripples of energy that manifested as the elements. He believed that by tapping into the energy of the zero point, it would be possible to manipulate matter, to transmute one element into another, just as the alchemists had dreamed. It was a bold claim, one that challenged the very foundations of chemistry, but it was a claim rooted in his deep belief in the interconnectedness and fluidity of the universe. Section 7. Transmutation and the Alchemist's Dream, Russell's Bold Claims. One of the most controversial aspects of Walter Russell's work was his belief in transmutation, the idea that one element could be transformed into another. This wasn't just theoretical for Russell. He claimed to have achieved transmutation in his laboratory a feat that, if true, would rewrite the laws of physics and chemistry. Russell's belief in transmutation stemmed from his understanding of the zero point. If matter was simply a manifestation of energy, he reasoned, then by manipulating that energy, it should be possible to change one element into another, just as a sculptor moulds clay into different forms. While mainstream science remained sceptical of Russell's claims, his ideas about transmutation resonated with ancient alchemical traditions. Section 8 echoes in modern science, resonance and the quantum world. While many of Russell's ideas remain outside the realm of mainstream science, some of his concepts, particularly his emphasis on vibration and resonance, find intriguing echoes in modern physics, particularly in the realm of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics, the study of the very small, has revealed a universe far stranger than anything Russell could have imagined. At the subatomic level, particles behave like waves, their properties determined by probabilities rather than fixed laws. This wave-particle duality, a concept central to quantum mechanics, resonates with Russell's vision of a universe built upon vibrations. Furthermore, the concept of resonance, a phenomenon where systems vibrate with increased amplitude when exposed to specific frequencies, is also fundamental to quantum mechanics. 
This concept of resonance aligns with Russell's belief that elements possess unique vibrational frequencies, their tones in the cosmic orchestra. Section 9. A Legacy of Curiosity, Russell's Enduring Influence. Walter Russell may not be a household name and his work remains controversial, but his legacy continues to inspire and intrigue artists, scientists and seekers of knowledge alike. His unique blend of science, art and philosophy offers a refreshing alternative to reductionist views of the universe reminding us of the interconnectedness and beauty of the natural world. Russell's work encourages us to think outside the box, to question established paradigms, and to approach the mysteries of the universe with a sense of wonder and curiosity. His spiral periodic table, though not universally accepted, serves as a powerful reminder that our understanding of the elements and indeed the universe itself, is constantly evolving. His emphasis on harmony, balance, and the interconnectedness of all things resonates deeply in a world grappling with environmental challenges and a sense of fragmentation. Section 10, Unlocking the Future, Russell's Vision in the 21st Century. As we navigate the complexities of the 21st century, faced with challenges ranging from climate change to resource depletion, Russell's vision of a universe abundant with energy and governed by harmonious principles offers a beacon of hope and a call to action. His work challenges us to rethink our relationship with energy, to move beyond fossil fuels and explore new, sustainable sources of power. His concept of transmutation, though still debated, hints at the possibility of a future where we can transform readily available elements into those we need, eliminating scarcity and fostering abundance. Russell's emphasis on the interconnectedness of all things reminds us that we are not isolated individuals, but rather integral parts of a vast, interconnected web of life. His work, though unconventional, continues to spark debate and inspire innovation, urging us to explore new frontiers of knowledge and to unlock the full potential of our interconnected universe.